Good morning, everyone. It has been a couple of days since our outing on the first day of 2022. And uh, that's because we got a ridiculous amount of rain and then it got really cold. So over the last couple of days, it's been overnights have been freezing, even as cold as the 20s a couple times. But last night was finally above freezing. So that means today is probably worth getting out it's decently warm. It's supposed to get up into the mid to high 50s today. So should at least be good salamander weather. And that's what we're going to go after today. We're going to go hit some areas that I think could potentially have mud salamanders. And uh, I know there's a lot of other cool amphibians in this region as well. So anyways, we are going to head out into the floodplain of this super flooded creek and see what all we can turn up. All right, guys, our first find of the day is a really unexpected one. <laughs> Under this log is an eastern box turtle. This guy is definitely trying to brumate right there, so we're going to disturb him as little as possible. Um, it is relatively cool out still, even though it's not super cold. So he's definitely not active today, though. So we're going to leave him right there and put this log back as nice as we can. But really interesting to see. We found a brumating box turtle last winter as well. But we're going to cover this guy back up and uh, get back to looking for salamanders. And our next herp of the day is yet another reptile but one that's definitely a little more active this time of year. It's a little ground skink. I rustled this guy up when I was flipping this log. Ooh, there he goes. But these guys are normally active on days this cold, so we're just gonna leave them to it. Well, it was only a matter of time before we found our first salamander. And uh, unsurprisingly, it's a nice slimy. These guys are pretty ubiquitous just about anywhere. But yeah, nice big healthy adult. We're gonna put him back under his log and uh, try to get into the more ephemeral wetlands this kind of stuff we're in right now is just a hardwood slope that's near the creek so not ideal salamander habitat but not bad salamander habitat either all right next salamander this is a nice little four-toed salamander this is one of relatively few places where they're abundant under cover and you can actually come flip them that i know of and uh I expect we'll probably see a couple more once we get over into the better habitat because we're still kind of working our way that direction. I don't know how well y'all can hear the chorus frogs going crazy over there, but that is where we're eventually going to end up. Nice little four-toed. And there's our first marble of the day, Caitlin just flipped. That's a long boy. He's so elongated. <laughs> but good looking marble. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty more of these guys as the day progresses. So under this log, we've got spotted here, and Jessica's got another spotted, and there's a big grub. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting into some spotteds finally, so it's a progress. Let's pull this guy out. These are both males. They got real swollen cloacas, and they'll probably be breeding next time it rains. So really cool. We're going to put these guys back. Here's our next salamander of the day, a little marbled. This guy's a juvenile, probably from last year. Oh, very nice. Just like at the house, it seems like a lot of the marbles here are further up the hill away from the water. That's a wood frog calling. Holy crap. Let's see if we can find him. Well, the wood frogs got quiet when we got close, understandably, so. We're gonna try to flip some logs in this little area. I just flipped a little marbled. Another one. This one's actually down here in the wet stuff still. I'll pull him out and put his log back. So this log broke in half when I went to flip it. And in the little space, it's a nice little marbled. Lots of these juvenile marbleds in this little area. Kind of interesting. So. There were two marbles and a spotted. The spotted was right there, but he disappeared. But here's the marbles under one log, all in one little spot too. That would have been a really cool flip clip if I was recording. Yeah, nice little marble double. I'm gonna put these guys, actually I'll pull them out, put their log back. Oh yeah, it's a nice double flip, triple flip. I wish I could have grabbed the spotted before we went down the hole. Check this woman out. She is massive. Look at that, she is full of eggs. And I'm assuming this is where she'll be laying them here very shortly. She was under a partially submerged log right on the edge, so 
I wouldn't even be surprised if she ends up wandering out there tonight, even though it's not going to be raining. But I'm assuming that like the pools we were in the other night, there's probably spermatophores on the ground here already. And she's just got to find them. So really cool. Big gravid female spotted salamander. We'll put her back under the log. And here's another spotted. This one's a male. Check that out. Just kind of, I'll pull him out. He's cool looking. He's got that like that two tone to him where they have that steely blue on the underside. What a great looking salamander. Look at that. It's a nice spotted double flip. Two males by the looks of it. Well, this has been a very productive day for ambistomids so far. We've seen a lot of spotted, a lot of marbled. But no mud salamanders, and that was the big thing I was hoping to see today. Even though this habitat looks really good for them, so... We're gonna leave these guys to it, keep flipping logs. I mean, look at this. We've got, I mean, we could spend the rest of the day working this. It's extensive habitat, so... We're gonna leave these two right here and see what else we can turn up. And there is another one. Even though it's gonna be 20-something degrees tomorrow night, I can't help but feel like everything is okay. It's springtime. There's spotted salamanders under logs everywhere. This is the point of no return for winter. Winter is dead, as far as I'm concerned. Let's move you and put your log back. Another big boy. Really just a one female so far, I guess. Look at that guy. That is a mostly striped marbled salamander. Holy crap. Oh yeah, a little chorus frog. Very nice. I've seen my fair share of marbled salamanders over the years, but I don't think I've ever seen one quite that striped. I know they turn up pretty commonly in some places, but I don't think this area is one of them. I mean, I've probably seen literally thousands of marbleds in this part of Georgia, and I've never seen a striped one like that until today. That is beautiful. And if we don't see anything else today, that is gonna be the highlight, I think. This or that giant spotted salamander. So we'll put him back under his log. But it's still got a decent amount of light out. We've still got a couple hours before it starts getting dark on us. So we might flip a few more logs before we call it a day. And here we have another nice spotted salamander double flip. This time, another big chunky female and a beautiful big spotted male. Look at that. And some big grubs sitting in the water. But wow, what a beautiful pair of salamanders. It's been a very, very ambistomity day. So, and I'm not gonna complain about that. We're gonna cover these back up and uh, keep working this habitat back towards the car. So here's another one. Definitely been our most common herp of the day so far, which is kind of unusual because uh, Normally, unless we're actually witnessing a breeding event, we're not seeing these guys in such great numbers as we have today. Really cool. Holy crap, it's raining hard. Wow. So yeah. When the storm lets up a little bit, which it seems like it's starting to do now, I'm gonna go look for wood frogs. So I'll try to end this video with our first wood frogs of the year since we started it hearing some that we didn't get to look at. So we're gonna return to that same area tonight in the rain and see how we do. All right, everyone, the rain has kind of let up a little bit. It's not a severe thunderstorm at this point like it was earlier, it's just a drizzle. And uh, I'm currently heading down the road towards where we heard the wood frogs calling earlier in this episode. And the goal tonight is gonna be not only to find some wood frogs, but to actually see where they're breeding. And hopefully I'll be able to show you guys around the ponds during one of those breeding events, which I've never been able to see. Uh, wood frogs are one of few local frog species that I just have not been able to track down during their breeding season. So yeah, I'll be there in a second and uh, we'll probably try to cruise around a little bit until it gets dark. And then once it's completely dark, we'll go walk around the ponds. 
All right, our first frog of the night in the road is not a wood frog. This is a little green frog. So I'm just gonna escort him real quick, but we are on the board. It's just now starting to get completely dark out. So I expect the amphibians will be coming out in numbers after this guy. All right, I'm stopped for the second frog of the night and I do believe this one is a wood frog. Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful frog. Holy crap. That is incredible. Oh, I love these things so much. All right, let's get him off the road real quick. That kind of looks like another one. Let's pull off and find out. I've been duped. This one is but a leopard frog. Look at that. You can see he's got his vocal sacs all extended from calling. These guys are breeding right now too, just like the wood frogs. So there might be a little bit of competition going on between them. They're both very similarly sized frogs that are actually rather closely related to. They're both members of the Lithobates genus. But yeah, good looking little frog. I'll get him out of the road and we're gonna keep driving. I really wanna walk around, but I'm waiting for this lightning to dissipate a little bit because it's warm enough that there's quite a bit of cloud of ground lightning going on right now, so. And right past the leopard frog is a little chorus frog. This looks like an upland. These guys are all over the road right now, but I'm sure we're gonna see many dozens of them tonight, so I'm just gonna leave him to it. Here's another one. They're all over the road right now. Yep, little up and chorus frog. Let's see. Yep, here's another one. And you can hear one calling. Chorus frog. This one's a peeper. Look at that. Big, gravid female peeper. There is an almost comical amount of smaller frogs on the road, but here is our next wood frog, another beautiful orange one. I just can't believe how nice they are here, and they're almost all this color. I know in some places the orange ones are the females, but like I've seen, I can count on one hand how many I've seen here that aren't this insane orange color. Just beautiful. These frogs are quite common here. They're just a little bit hard to pinpoint when they're gonna be moving, so I expect we'll be seeing plenty more of these tonight, so I'm just gonna move this one off the road too. All right, we got a couple interesting looking frogs right in this little area. Let's see, that one might be a woody. Sure enough, that's a cool looking one too. He's not quite as orange as the others, but he's got a little more pattern on him. I just can't get over how handsome these frogs are. Maybe it's just because I don't see them as much as a lot of other people do, since we're at the southern extent of their range here, but I mean, just look at that thing, it's beautiful. Perfectly camouflaged to blend in with the forest floor. They don't do much either. <laughs> like I never see them jump. I only see them do that little squatting thing. All right, those are all peepers or chorus frogs. Let's see. Look at this, it's ridiculous. Peeper. Chorus frog, uh, peeper, peeper. Anything else? Nope, we got a, let's see, peeper. And uh, yet another peeper by the looks of it, sure enough. Peepers everywhere. So it looks like another nice, goodness gracious. Just, uh, how is that even real? It's just pink pinkish orange look at that that is unreal that's probably the nicest one i've ever seen all right it's finally let up a little bit it's not just torrential downpour at this point and uh it's no longer thundering and lightning so we're gonna walk over here where we heard these wood frogs the other day and uh see if we can find any of them all right guys check this out those right there are wood frogs swimming around in the pool. Look at them all. Look over there. Holy crap. <laughs> They're not calling. I guess I spooked them, but there's so many of them in here. Look at them all over there. There's tons of them. And they're not nearly as pretty as those we were seeing on the road either. Look at this big thing. 
a huge crayfish. <laughs> that thing is crazy looking. I don't know what it's doing either. It's just kind of derping around in there. So right here, we have a bunch of wood frog eggs. That is really cool. There were a bunch of wood frogs sitting around this, but they're so skittish when they're in the water. I spent like the last 20 minutes walking around this little area just trying to get a picture of one in the water, and uh, I haven't been able to. They're just too flighty. So I guess I'm gonna try to get some video of them. We're gonna walk this way a little bit. There were a bunch of them over here. An armadillo. What's up, dude? Looking for wood frogs? It's a little stub tail. Alright guys, I'm heading back to the car. Um, I was able to partially accomplish my main goal for the night, which was seeing wood frogs in habitat. I was able to see probably two dozen of them in the ponds. But they were so skittish. None of them were calling in sight like they didn't want to call in front of me. And uh, the second I came anywhere near them in the water, they would dip underwater and bury in the leaves. And they'd come back up like five minutes later, but they just weren't getting any more tolerant of me. I might switch up my strategy and try to come back again when it's peak breeding. I mean, there were a lot of them in there, but I only saw a couple of egg masses and I didn't see any in Amplexus. So I don't know. Either way, it was cool to get to see them in the habitat and we found some really nice ones on the road too. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start making my way home. These woods are really creepy at night by yourself, by the way. It's it's very uh, horror movie-esque out here. So I think what I'm gonna do anyways is start my way home and uh, potentially try to find one in the next county north, which is the county I live in, where it would be a county record. So we're gonna go do a little bit of cruising around closer to home and uh, hopefully find a wood frog in that area. And if not, I might end up wrapping the video up here, but we'll see. I think I just cruised our first salamander of the night. Weirdly enough, it's taken this long to find one. Sure did. I can't believe it took that long. And it's a nice marbled salamander with another nice little aberrant patch. Look at that. But I'm in the area I was hoping to find a wood frog in the other county now. This guy's a pretty good sign that stuff's out and that this is good amphibian habitat. So I'm gonna do a couple passes right here and I'm gonna have my fingers crossed for that wood frog. So we'll see. There were tons of them out in that other area. So I don't think it would be too much to ask to find one up here. We're really not that far at all. And it would be a huge county record if I could find one on this road. So I'm gonna move this guy across and keep cruising. Here is another marbled salamander. Very nice. Seems like this is a decent spot for them. But stuff is out, so I'm just going to move this guy too and keep cruising. That is neither a wood frog, nor is it even close to being a wood frog. <laughs> but, hey, I wasn't expecting to see a green tree frog tonight, if you could call this guy green. I guess he's kind of a mossy green. Yeah, that's a nice surprise. Not something I was expecting to see tonight. We'll move him out of the way. All right, guys, well, I am most of the way home now. We saw a couple more things on the road, uh, mostly marbles and uh, a few more common frogs, but no more witties, unfortunately. Uh, but I do think I will eventually get one in this county. I still don't think we've really hit prime breeding season for wood frogs yet. I mean, there were a lot of them in the pond tonight, but it seems like even the chorus frogs haven't even really hit peak yet. Everything's a little bit shy still. Uh, but once we get into prime breeding season, hopefully they'll become a little bit more tolerant of me walking around and uh, taking pictures of them and we'll be able to actually get some footage of them in the ponds or at least some better footage. But yeah, not bad. We found some beautiful wood frogs tonight and a lot of wood frogs too. It's probably my best night I've ever had just based on the amount that I saw in the pools. I don't know uh, how much of that video is going to come out or how much of it I'll end up actually putting in the episode. But I did see a ton of frogs in the pools. I just don't think the video of them is going to come out very well and you probably won't even be able to tell what I'm 
pointing the camera at, so. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this will end up being the second episode of the year, and uh, I think this will be the last one from Georgia before I go on a trip. So next episode, I'll be coming to you guys from somewhere else. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go yet. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.